Mesh tessellation options. Let's go up into our mesh tab, and we're in the mesh tab. Let's go into our mesh panel. Down in the lower right hand corner, we have our options button. Remember, anytime you're in the lower right hand corner of any panel, you are getting the various options or settings. I click on that, and I get the mesh tessellation options. First thing we want to do is to look at the mesh type. By default, we have a smooth meshed oppositization. I can click on it, and it, it'll create it mostly smooth in this case. Um, so it'll try to smooth the mesh. We could also go to quadrilateral, well, easy for me to say. Um, quadrilaterals is what's mostly quads. Um, these will make a, a more of a simplified shape, and even more simplified would be triangles. We just make mostly triangles in our shape. So this is the most sophisticated uh, in the middle of the road and the most basic. Uh, mesh distance from the original face. Now, from the original face, meaning how far can we edit the mesh from its original location? Uh, if we don't have it set, um, then we can actually, you know, it'll go as close to the original mesh as possible. Uh, allows them uh, to make any changes. If, if uh, so, if uh, basically allows us to keep the the original shape as close to the object as possible. If we set this distance, maximum angle between new faces. Um, in this particular case, the higher value we put, the more curviness we get in the curves. And that allows us things like fillets and, and rounds to be very curvy if we have a high number. Uh, maximum aspect ratio for new faces. Um, this basically allows us to prevent uh, really long faces. Um, so. Uh, we can say, well, if uh, we want, you know, really long faces, we can um, set this uh, to close to one. So the default is zero, and close to one says, hey, it will equal the length of the of the uh, face length in the object. So uh, essentially, the faces won't get really long. Um, maximum length edge length for new faces. Uh, this maximum uh, edge length for the new faces is how far um, away from the original model can we be. Um, and so, you know, if we have a, a really high number, we actually have it to be a very simplified uh, mesh object uh, because if you know, if the lengths of the new faces are very long, it's very simplified. Um, so, uh, so anything over one reduces the number of faces and simplifies it to the less accuracy than the original model. So, uh, we want by default it's at zero. Uh, down here, optimize meshing primitive objects. So, if we have just the um, the box command and we go to uh, make a mesh out of it. Uh, we're going to say let's use the optimization representation for 3D primitives. So we're going to do an optimize, a smooth mesh when we change it. Um, and we can come in here and go to mesh primitives. We can set whatever we want for those values. So it says okay, use those op optimize whatever these values are, use that. Okay. Um, and then uh, s applying mesh after the tessellation or smoothing the mesh after the tessellation we will allow for smoothness to happen after it's tessellated so we can say ah we'll okay we'll apply a smoothness level so in other words we're gonna kind of round it off uh, after we're allowed to so once again when you got a lot of options in a dialog box I always say don't forget to use the help screen. It's right here. It's handy. It gives you all the different options. You can go through and look up anything you want on the fly. You don't have to have the book in front of you uh, type of thing. 
So all them values are there. Um, you don't change a whole lot here too much. Uh, I like to keep things close to defaults here. Um, so I'm not a big change them up for too many of these in here.